All right. Um, no, no, we're going to continue with Pillar 9. I think it's quite an interesting one. Yeah. So yeah. Take it away. Is. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kafui. It's almost been an hour and some change into the evening since we started this presentation of our developmental agenda and the policy. But now I'm about to get you into Pillar 9, the apostolic governance, the 12 ministries. I mean, apostolic governance, it's, it's a title, it's some title right here. But it's the 12 ministries. They say less is more. Our government will be the leanest, most efficient in the history of African politics. We present to you the apostolic governance, one president, 12 ministers. Create a lean government that will be responsible for the 12 pillars. Now let me start. I'm going to press this, like when you go into one of these, maybe we can press one of them. And um, let's pick one. I'll take you through a few of the ministerial mandates, because I think it's very important that you know what they have to do. So we start with Ministry of Finance. Over the years, there has been a lot of judgment debts, a lot of salary shortage, a lot of Paying and paying and paying without returns. We realize that, not to put blames on anyone, that the Ministry of Finance is struggling. So our mandate is to make the Ministry of Finance become an investor and a developer for the nation building. It should be their responsibility. It, they should be accountable for it. You know, we want them to be able to go to the sovereign fund, the IMF, and ask for 10 billion for a project that would be supervised, monitored, controlled by us, our investment going into industrial, going into commercial, going into retail. We should be a part of it and we should control it. And there should be returns. We should not just use our Ministry of Finance for spending, <laughs> we should use our Ministry of Finance. For investment we have to purchase for right purposes that brings returns the returns that will pay the salary of the workers of this country and that's how it should circulate just to stabilize our economy I can pick maybe trade as well well trade it's it's been like a, a, a dormant ministry for me over the past decade and the mandate for trade is to make Ghana one of the biggest African exporters. The aim of having all of these 16 industrial, uh, 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 regional industrial revolution and having a development in minerals and, and, and agro processing and packaging and food and this and that is to be able to trade. Now, let's, let's think about uh, AFTA. AFTA is a big project. That's 54 countries of Africa have registered with AFTA. What were they thinking? They don't have the resources. They don't have the product to distribute among these 54 countries. Where was the product going to come from? Were we going to import it? Or somebody else was going to come and put these plants in this country and trade in Africa? Ghana stands to be the flagship, the star, the black star of Africa that will have the power of distribution. They have the waters connected to the coast that can, can just distribute regionally and continentally. And we feed in that gap for after. It's a great opportunity uh, for us. Uh, we should look at Ministry of Agriculture. The mandate for Ministry of Agriculture is to establish the National Seedling Bank. Uh, you know, and an industrial irrigation systems to support it. But we have the National Seedling Bank, like we already said in the reserves. We will have a hundred, a century of food guaranteed for us. And it would be the mandate of Ministry of Agriculture to see to it that this is being monitored, supervised, managed, controlled. And for the public and the citizens of Ghana to get jobs out of this mandate. For the citizens of Ghana to create wealth out of this mandate. 
But that's what I believe the ministries should be doing. For these 12 apostles should make sure the pillars don't break. Because these pillars is going to hold this nation for the next 500 years until greater minds will come together and enhance it again. I mean, we can go through some of the ministries, more of it, and just share the mandate of our policies. But of course, we're going to make sure that uh, there would be the digital copies that it would go to millions of people as well. But the mandate of maybe a ministry of interior to secure the right salary and structures and benefits for security service like police, fire service, prisoners, or prison, uh, prison, prison officers, uh, immigration officers. I mean, if we want to mi minimize corruption, the first thing we need to think about is to give value back to our people. Once they have value, the right salary, there is no way they would like to take pure water for bribe. But you know, we just need to give value to our people. And we need the Ministry of Interior to have this mandate and take it serious that we're moving from the low-income world that we live to the middle-income world. You know, creating and putting the right structures in place for everybody to get the fair share of salary and build the economy right. Don't forget, taxes will also help the country. The more jobs we create, the more value we bring. And so that's Ministry of Interior. Maybe I should take you through one or two. But I still have three pillars to take you through. So I'm going to take you through this ninth, ninth pillar, which is the apostolic governance, and then take you back to the pillars. But there are more and more. You have 12 of these. We are here to build an army of dedicated Ghanaians who will manage this great nation. Ladies and gentlemen, to lead is to serve and I'm here to serve you thank you